Hello and welcome to the Crafty Elf Workshop. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I take a photo and put it on a candle. So let's begin. First thing I'm going to do is I have a piece of white tissue paper and it's got creases on it and I'm just going to quickly iron it to get rid of the crease. This is also a fabulous technique if you want to reuse tissue paper that you've got and if you're a saver like me and you save tissue paper, this is excellent. Great way to reuse things. Okay. Got a little bit of a crease. I'm going to flip it over. And you can see, so there's the crease that I had, a similar crease right here. And you can see now it's less visible. Always use low iron heat. All I'm trying to do is make the tissue paper flat. Great. Okay, that's step one. So in step two, another important thing is to find out which way your paper goes in your paper tray when you're gonna print to see what side comes up on top. Okay, so I did a test sheet, but we don't see the X, and the X is on the opposite side. And when it came through, it came through this way. So I know that when I put the paper in like this, it went into the machine, came up and around, and printed the top side there. So that's good to know. You're going to need that in your printer. So when you figure that out, that is step two. Okay, in step three, we're going to take a clean sheet of 8x11 paper and I've just put it over the tissue paper and I'm going to cut around the tissue paper. Just like that. Okay, the next step is I've taken the tissue and I've just run quickly a bead of glue along the edges and just folded it down but I really want to make sure that everything is secure so that it's going to go through the printer okay. I'm just going to get some tape and just tape down the tissue at the corners and then that way I know it's not going to get caught in the printer. Don't want to jam up your printer. And you can always add a couple little extra pieces of tape. Because what we want to do is we want to have the picture or the image that we've decided that we're going to put on the candle to be printed on the tissue paper. So this is the tissue paper and it's been glued and taped to an 8 by 11 piece of paper. So that's the next step. Okay, so when the printer spit out my image, sorry, I'm going to show you. In my paper tray, I had the paper like that with the X. And when I did a test sheet, it went in and came out like that. So I know that my paper with the tissue side down has got to go face down, tissue side down, because as we remember, my put an X here, it went through the printer and came out like this, so I want to make sure that my image is going to print on the tissue paper. So now that I've put my piece of paper with the tissue tape to it and glued in the paper tray, I'm going to close the paper tray and then we're going to print. Okay, now it has printed my image on the tissue. That's perfect. Okay, now that we have our picture printed from the printer, what we're going to do is we're going to cut it out. I'm gonna leave it 
attach to the 8x11 paper just because it makes it more sturdy. And I'm just going to cut out the image. Now, this is my friend's dog. She's just lost her dog. And uh, there's n nothing worse. I've been through it and um, it's very sad. So I just want to give her a little something, a little memory of her dog, Summer. And uh, so I thought, what better way than just to put it on a candle for her. So now that we've got that, we're ready for our next step. Okay, so now that I have my picture, I'm going to take the paper away. Now normally what you would do is you would take a real candle. Um, there's a smaller one, here's a larger one, and you place it on the candle with wax paper, but I'm going to try something. This is, I have no clue if it's gonna work, and if it does, well then, we're all gonna learn something. Um, I have a battery-operated candle. You can see it turns on, and it's, it claims it's a real wax flameless LED candle. So it's got a plastic wrap on it. And I'm going to, now you would normally do this with just a real candle, but I wanna do something a little bit different. What you do is you take the picture and you put it on your candle where you want it. And then you take wax paper and you place it over the picture that you just put on the candle. And I'm gonna wrap it around and you're gonna make it very tight. You want it secure. And you're gonna take a piece of tape and you are going to tape the wax paper tight. And that's our next step. Okay, now we get the blow dryer. Okay, I have to admit, I'm a bit nervous. I've not done this before. And um, as you know, these candles are not inexpensive, but if you don't try anything, you're never going to know. So what you wanna do is you have your picture and your wax paper on top and I'm going to turn my blow dryer on and I'm just gonna heat it up. It's gonna get a bit noisy, but. There we go. heated up the wax. I'm kind of a bit nervous. I'm very excited though. Now you want to protect yourself because you know blow dryers get warm. I'm just gonna kind of loosen the tape. Here, take a little peek. And there we go. There's her beautiful dog on the wax candle. Now this is real wax on a candle. So our, normally I would use a 
wax candle, but I did want to try something uh, a little bit different just to make sure that it works. So anyways, there you go. Well, I hope you've learned something and thank you for visiting the Crafty Elf Workshop and have yourself a great day. Bye.